Police on the Caribbean island of Aruba are still gathering evidence against Gary Giordano. They believe he killed Robin Gardner more than two weeks ago. Her body still has not been recovered, and CBS News correspondent Kelly Cobiea has the latest on the investigation. Aruban investigators postponed a massive island-wide search for Robin Gardner, saying they needed more time to prepare. It's been 18 days since the 35-year-old vanished. Investigators believe Gardner is dead and that her travel companion, Gary Giordano, is responsible. The two arrived on the island July 31st for a five-day getaway after meeting online. Giordano claims they went snorkeling August 2nd off Baby Beach and strong currents swept Gardner out to sea. Yet the water were calm that day, and no one remembers seeing Gardner at the beach. Her ex-boyfriend doesn't buy Giordano's explanation. I just don't think that she was snorkeling. I, I feel in my heart that something happened at this person's hand. Just two days after he reported her missing, Giordano reportedly tried to cash in on a $1.5 million insurance policy he took out on Gardner before the trip. The investigation has extended all the way back to Giordano's Maryland home, where FBI agents executed a search warrant one week ago. Giordano is being held in Aruba while prosecutors try to build a case against him. So far, the evidence is slim. Investigators found explicit pictures of Gardner on Giordano's camera, but little else. They plan to release a photo of the couple's rental car in the hopes someone remembers seeing the two together. Kelly Cobiella, CBS News, Miami. And joining us now is Beth Karras, correspondent for In Session on True TV. Great to have you with us, Beth. Thank you. So this guy, Giordano, takes out a $1.5 million insurance pol policy ahead of the trip. Is that a motive? I mean, it, it looks suspicious. The police are definitely looking at it, but it's not suspicious to take out travel insurance. That's what this was. And the accidental death benefit, $1.5 million through American Express, there's a maximum he could have taken out of $2 million, even $3 million if he paid more. But he took out $1.5 million, not the maximum. What's suspicious, though, is that two days after she's reported missing, and mm -hmm. the reporting of her being missing alone is suspicious because of, you know, he didn't do it immediately, um, and it, is that he's inquiring about the benefit. It's on August 4th. Well, the police are still looking for her. He's still in Aruba, and he's talking to them as though she's dead, yeah. and he wants to start the process of collecting on benefits, or he's making inquiries about it. That is what is suspicious. Yeah, and why would an honest person who's totally broken up about this individual go and start to try and claim benefits on Again, an insurance policy time. while a search is still Correct. on the way? Correct. There's time to do it. You don't need to do it within 48 hours. It's less than 48 hours. It's been about 36 hours since she was reported missing when he's making these inquiries. Speaking of time, the amount of time that Giordano can be detained is limited here. Yes. Is that an issue? He hasn't been charged with a crime. You know, the system is different there. They follow Dutch law, and he can be held on suspicion, but they have to bring charges within a certain amount of time. So, And, and applications can be made to a judge to, a, to extend it, which is what was done on Monday, to extend it another 16 days. So they have to August 31st, and they can go another 60 days or so after that. And they're hoping to file some sort of charges, that's my understanding, um, if they get that additional 60-day extension. So we're looking at a couple more months. He's the only suspect in this case at this point. What do investigators need to build a case against him? Well, right now, without the body, you want the body, you want, need to find her dead or alive. Mm -hmm. But without that, it doesn't mean they don't have a case because cases are built all the time, a circumstantial evidence case. Um, and, and you can prosecute without a body, assuming that she's indeed dead, and they do believe that she is. Uh, they got to talk to anybody who's had contact with them on the island. They have to, they've searched his home. They have to see what kind of preparations he made. Did he premeditate this? If indeed it's a murder, by taking out the life insurance policy, he made statements to other women who have come forward wanting to take the daughter of a woman uh, who was a model to Aruba. And this isn't going to be a Natalie Holloway situation. Don't worry, I'll take care of your daughter. A little bit strange for mm -hmm. him to say that, and here there is a situation that is reminiscent of Natalie Holloway's mm -hmm. death. Um, so they'll they'll be looking for forensic evidence in their hotel room. People who last saw them at the ho at the restaurant where they were until 4 p.m. that day. Um, they're searching for you know, her clothing, blood, any type of forensic evidence. Her hair, DNA in her room that they shared isn't unusual. She stayed in the room, sure. but the source of the DNA could be. Okay. Beth Karras, as always, we really appreciate your insight. Thank you. My pleasure.